Hey guys, Super Console Final Wars here, and, and today we're back with another Why I Ship video. This time we're going to be explaining on Why I Ship <gasps> Rexy from Jurassic World, no, Jurassic Park, to Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, and Jurassic World Dominion. With Speckles, the Tarbosaurus. So, this ship is actually really, really interesting because I never mentioned it on my YouTube channel. I never mentioned it at all. And there's another thing. My dinosaur OC and my girlfriend's dinosaur OC. Well, not my girlfriend's dinosaur OC. My dinosaur OCs. One of them is basically a hybrid between a Tarbosaurus and a T Rex. And his mate is actually a regular T Rex. So like I said before, I never mentioned this ship on my channel, on my original YouTube channel, but my Dinosaur OC, by the name of Omega Rex, he is basically a hybrid between a T-Rex and a Tarbosaurus. His father is in fact a T-Rex and his mother is a Tarbosaurus. Basically, it's a similar way on the Liger, who is, who his parents are the father of a male lion and a female tiger. So basically, the same thing is said through here. His father is a male T-Rex, and his mother is a female Tarbosaurus. Now, why I ship these two? is a complicated story. So at first, I, I, I was like, should I mention this on my channel? Because Rexy is a T-Rex. But not just that. Female T-Rexes are known to be bigger than male T-Rexes. And if, if you think I'm lying, Zilla 2000 can even mention it himself because he's a dinosaur expert. But male T-Rexes are small in comparison to a female T-Rex. Like, folks, you know how, like, for example, a queen ant is bigger than her entire com- Well, no, 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 no. Uh, you know how, like, most male spiders are small in comparison to a female spider? The same logic is basically similar to dinosaurs. A male T-Rex is small in comparison to a female T-Rex. And not to say female T-Rex are known to be a bit more aggressive a bit more territorial over their land and, or territory and a bit more protective of their offspring so there's that and there's another thing the fact that speckles at first had a mate, and his mate was Blue Eyes. But she died in Dino King, or Speckles the Tarosaurus. I mean, but the majority of the people are just calling it Speckles the Tarosaurus because that's what it's actually called. Besides a Dino King. But, um, moving on. So, 
Speckles his new mate, possibly his fang. If you haven't seen Journey to the Fire Mountain, go check it out. Because we do see like a little interaction between Speckles and Fang. And they're acting much more as a couple, in a way. I mean, people are assuming that she's rather a Displetosaurus or a female Tarbosaurus. But I'm assuming that she is a female Tarbosaurus. So, not just that she sounds like him and sort of looks like him. So, moving on. Now, on to Rexy's side. She has no mate so far. So far, what we can tell, she's been a lone wolf. She has no companion, no partner. At least no pack number yet. So most T because basically T Rexes are being well known to basically roam in packs. <laughs> if you think of one single T Rex was bad enough, imagine a pack of T Rexes. A pack of these bad boys could basically take on anything. But Rexy is well known to be pretty popular, and many people. Many, many, many people are just wondering when is Rexy gonna get a like a mate. Many people have been wondering on how she'll interact with rather the male T Rex and female T Rex from Jurassic Park: The Lost World, or how if she interacts. With the male T Rex we saw in Dress Park 3. Basically, everyone is assuming on how would Rexy interact with another T Rex. And then we see her in Can Cretaceous Season 2. She's making a nest, but it is not revealed that she is... It doesn't reveal that she has a mate. Or at least laying eggs. It's because most of the dinosaurs have been basically well known to be asexual on the island. I mean, people are assuming Rexy is probably one of them, but so far we don't really see that. And so the possible chance that Rexy just could be just be a female, you know, looking for rather a mate and just preparing for a nest, is a possible explanation. And we don't even know that if Claire and her company made another T Rex, it's or not. But I hope they, they did. Because Rexy deserves to have a company. And I hope we see that in Dominion. I really hope we actually see that, actually. Because it's been, like, years since we saw a pair of T-Rex or a pack of T-Rexes, at least. Not just that. Um, we... We have the fact that Speckles is a male Tarbosaurus, but a Tarbosaurus is small in comparison to a T-Rex. And especially if you're talking about a male Tarbosaurus like Speckles, then you're talking about like a 6 or 7 ton female T-Rex. So if you're wondering, how is this going to work out? Well, it depends, because most dinosaurs... Most animals have proven to have a little bit of giganticism. Sometimes giganticism, yeah, God, I can't speak, comes at a price. Sometimes in a good price, sometimes a bad price. As long as there's plenty of food, being a giant is okay. So let's just say Speckles is like almost around the same size as an adult male T-Rex. 
So imagine that. We're back to see him as a possible mate. Possibly. Now we're wondering, what about what about Junior? Yeah. Most likely Rex will most likely her mother instincts will most likely kick in. Even though most animals don't really kill bait most animals will kill most carnivorous animals will kill babies who are not their own blood or not a part of their pack or tribe or whatever. But mainly only female males have been female no animals from carnivores to herbivores have been known to basically raise baby animals. Basically a wolf pack ends up adopting a wolf cub from a completely different pack. So you can imagine that similar situation with Speckles and Blue Eyes. I mean, not Blue Eyes, Speckles and Rexy. So most likely, Rex will most likely will act much more as a mother figure to Speckles' son. And then we have the fact that Speckles is well known experienced because Rexy all she experienced was being trapped by humans and put in a cage and she has a little bit of experience in the wild and the fact that she prefers to hunt alone sometimes but having a mate by her side who is a bit more experienced could teach her a thing or two And Rexy could be a bit more experienced. And finally, the possible chance of a Tarbosaur T Rex hybrid happening. And if you're wondering, could that actually happen? Well, look at a male. Look at a liger. That happened. And he and he's a cub, of, and that is a cub of a male lion, a female tiger. So, yeah. So, you can imagine a T-Rex Tarbosaur hybrid. And not just that, my dinosaur seen Omega Rex, he's a hybrid between of a male Tarbosaur, or a, a male T-Rex and a female Tarbosaurus. So, yeah. I mean, people have been basically making cool little hints at one eye originally battled Speckles' father, who is still unknown, and basically lost that fight. You know, because he was trying to get Speckles' mother to be with him instead of Speckles' father. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to have Gorgia with excellence, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.